Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a really long time since I've done a tutorial on here, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a very simple, quick, easy cat paw tutorial. And I'll be showing the colors that I'm gonna be using next. Remember that you can pause, stop, rewind to go at your uh, leisure. Um, I'm gonna be using uh, different shades of pink. Um, these are just some examples of some colors that you can use. They do not have to be exact but these are the colors that I had on hand just for examples. I ended up using just the rose pink um, for my cat paw. And we're gonna be using, of course, some white. The whitest white that I've been able to find, of course, is titanium white. Uh, some neon pink, this one is fluorescent. You can also use some of Wanda's neon gouaches. Um, and also some gray. You can mix black and white if you don't have gray black of course we're going to be using that white and black are kind of essential for almost any painting and kind of like a tan color if you don't have a tan color just mix some brown white um and yellow until you get a really like creamy color to go with that um also some burnt sienna um and i'm gonna also be using some of the barbie pink glitter whip uh from wanda's shop uh she's the foiling rock lady on etsy and uh, let's start. So I'm going to be doing this on a 3-inch Santorini square. Um, that's stones by Shelly on Etsy as well. And I'm going to map out my line. So I drew a line about halfway through the center of the um, rock. And then I drew another line about a third of the way. We're going to draw a very tall, skinny-ish heart. And then another little kind of shorter, shorter heart right below that. Um, let's take our pencil as well and let's draw in little um, toe beans. So it's just a circle inside of the heart. You can go ahead and erase the bottom portion of your um, guide. I guess we'll call it the guide. And then from here, go ahead and expand out two little uh, oval shapes and straight down for the rest of the paw. And it's like two little upside down teardrop shapes for the rest of the um, little paw portion of it you know the little fat part of the paw <laughs> draw a little line um kind of just to even that out and then a circle right underneath that so that we can um have you know his little nubs on his little paw we're gonna draw the other little toe beans and then kind of bring those lines back so it looks a little bit like a seashell conch um we can erase our little guys i'm just using a regular pink eraser from like walmart um, and then what we're going to do, here's my palette. Here's all the colors that I laid down for you guys. I tried to keep it in view as much as possible so that you guys could see what I'm blending, what I'm mixing. And I'm just going to grab a regular brush. And sorry that my water is dirty. I was painting last night. I'm just going to go in with some pink. Fill in those little toe beans. Um, this one is uh, the Liquitex one. And just, you know, go right in with it. You don't need to... Um, do much as far as shading for right now we'll go back and do that first i just wanted to fill this in and so that this would be dry by the time that i'm finished with the background because we are doing fur i do want to do the background first um that's always what i do when i'm working with any type of fur any type of animals i'm just mixing the neon pink with this uh other baby pink so that it's it's kind of like a very bright pretty pink but not like too in your face um, and yeah, we're just going to go ahead and fill in the background. And the reason that we do this, well, the reason that I do this when I am doing any type of fur is because the first strokes, um, go on top of the background, if that makes sense. So you don't want to do all of these beautiful, you know, cute, detailed little fur strokes and then have to go back and fill in the background. That's just a lot of extra work that I don't want to do. So just go ahead and fill in that back and we're going to go ahead and... Um, I, I don't know why I'm taking so long to do this. I hope everybody's having a good day, and I am so glad to be back to making videos on here um, for everybody to be able to watch. And I'm going to mix a little bit of that gray with some tan, and my method of, um, I call it kissing the water. You kind of just lightly dip your brush into the water um, to give it a little bit more fluid, like, consistency. Um, and just gonna drag that across. I'm not going in very heavy with my paint. It is very much watered down and I'm just uh, base coating it. I don't want it to be too, too dark because then it's, it's just, you know, 
it doesn't look very pretty at the end for the final result but i am shading the back portion of where the fur is going to go before i do my fur work because you always want to have a darker color behind your fur and then from there go on to layer it so i am grabbing some black onto my um brush and i am watering it down and i am grabbing it from the side of the of the paint that's on the palette and just kind of dragging it out so that i have some water like consistency if you have watercolors you can use those as well if you have gouache go ahead and use that um and then i'm just outlining the right portion of the toe beans and then the top portion of this little pad and then the top portion of this half circle it does not have to be exact it does not have to be you know uh on point this is a very loose very free painting um, I am mixing some of the burnt sienna with some of that neon to give it like kind of like a reddish tint to the uh, pink and I'm just going to tap it into this bottom left corner just tap you do not want to create any harsh lines you don't want to create any um, harsh like anything that you would have to blend back in so I'm also watering this down and I'm just tapping it in and let the water do its thing the water will guide itself to make itself it's a little shadow um, let's line this bottom portion of uh, kind of like a v-shape for those larger um, pads on the paw and just gonna wait for this to dry a little bit while it's drying I'm gonna grab my fine liner pencil this is just a regular eyeliner pencil um, uh, not pencil eyeliner brush off of Amazon and I'm gonna water down my white I'm going to create some little circles up here like kind of like a little shimmer um, and I'm gonna line in between where the black and the pink is um, put little dots on the toe beans just little dots here and there they don't have to be exactly uh, located where mine are I'm just putting three and kind of just you know giving it a little hint of uh, like a shine on the bottom and then we're gonna line in between where the black and the pink is if you have like a a paint pen or something you can also use that if you feel more comfortable with that if you don't have a fine liner you can use a toothpick yada yada etc etc let's bring that white down to divide those paws um, and then don't forget the little glistening on the bottom uh, circle and then I did end up using that darker fuchsia color to kind of highlight the bottom right and then kind of in between where the white is down here at the bottom pad if you don't have fluid acrylic, you can use a spray bottle to wet your um, white because I found that fur work works the best for me when my acrylics are fluid, which is why I paint personally with fluid acrylic. You can use the twi the um, the flick motion with your wrist to kind of create um, very wispy, soft fur lines. Um, I am not putting my wrist down, which helps me not have such a heavy hand. And I'm just going directly from on top. I am not using the side of my brush. I have done plenty of fur tutorials, um, stuff like this, where you can go back and hear any type of tips, anything like that. I don't want to sound like a broken record for those that have already watched all of my tutorials. Um, but just use your little flick motion, uh, very short um, fur lines. And again, using the tip of the brush. If you are getting little balls uh, at the end of your brush with the paint when you are painting, um, my suggestion is is to use the roll it out method, which is what also something that I've taught in the past before. Uh, if you want to get really fine lines, but you have that issue when you dip your brush into the paint, it is it just leaves that little dot of paint, and it's too heavy, it's too thick. Um, just roll it out onto the side and I think I end up showing that here in the video a little bit sometime <laughs> sometime soon um, yeah just work your way short little wispies um, kind of want to go into that little paw pad oh here it is here so I'm showing the little dot you know it's very heavy I'm just gonna roll my brush out so that I get finer thinner lines you can add water um, to thin out your paint as well and just keep on creating that fur, layer it on there, and soon you'll start to see the back disappear, but there's enough layer uh, and contrast in there that you start to notice the white popping out more and creating that fur-like effect. 
and just continue to fill it out. Um, I did not cover the black. I kind of barely touched into it. And I did curl some of the fur um, this way, that way. It's, it's fur, you know, it's everywhere. It's not going to be just completely straight up. You want to, you know, when you're doing the motion, kind of flick it over to the right, flick it over to the left, kind of do this way, that way, straight up. Um, and that'll give it a more realistic look. I'm not saying that I'm like Picasso over here, but, you know, I've done enough animals and stuff to to get a hang of what's comfortable for me and what works for me to make my paintings look realistic. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna finish up this fur and then I believe after this, I do end up grabbing my Barbie pink. Um, before that, if you don't have any type of Wanda's watercolors, I know that not everybody has it um, and that's okay. You can use whatever glitter you want. You can draw in your stars. Uh, add shimmer. I'm just drawing in stars here for those that don't have it. If you want, you know, like a little glittery effect, you can just do little crosses, little uh, asterisk symbols. And um, but what I I love to use one is paints because I mean I use them on almost all of my paintings. And the great thing about the whips is that and the liquid gels is that they don't harden like um, acrylic paint glitters, you know, like the glitterific and um, all of that stuff. They get clumpy after a while and these are just so smooth to go on and they don't harden your brush like the other acrylic paints do. Um, these are a staple in all of my paintings because uh, they're just very easy to work with. They don't clump up um, like the other ones do and they're very easy to apply. I'm just grabbing whatever is off of the lid. Um, you can squeeze it onto the rock if you want to straight from the tube, but I personally like to just get it from the, the tube itself. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna apply it around here, give it some shimmer, um, and that's it. You guys did it. If you painted along, let me know, tag me. I love to see when people do um, you know, what I'm able to teach, and I can't wait for the next one. Uh, I'm going to be a little bit more active on my YouTube page, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And all in all, this took about 20 minutes for me, so I know you guys can do it. And here is our final rock. Thank you guys so much for watching.